six police officers jammed this entrance of Victoria's Royal Jubilee Hospital. Nurses and hospital security rushed to an arriving officer. Emergency expertise and rollout of resources that plays out every day. Frustration is, is, I think, felt at every level of anyone involved in this process right now. On this Friday afternoon, five police officers are inside for hours, waiting with people experiencing a mental health emergency. Every shift, we're dealing with someone who is going through a mental health crisis in some capacity. It's a huge part of our day-to-day -day work now. Under Section 28 of the Mental Health Act, police have the authority to bring a person against their will to the hospital if they are likely to harm themselves or others. It's significant. It's a significant uh, issue that our officers deal with. It would not be uh, out of the ordinary for us to deal with several mental health apprehensions uh, in a day or in a night. West Shore RCMP, Victoria Police and Saanich Police say it has to stop officers spending hours here every day. What it means is there's one less person taking files and there's one less person providing backup on high priority uh, files and responses as well. Taking officers away from other calls. It really delays our ability to respond to other emergencies uh, and, it, and it limits the amount of resources that we have on the road at one time. We were invited on a ride along with West Shore RCMP for a first hand look. Police and the individual have just walked inside the hospital. It's 1.30 in the afternoon, and we'll see how long they are inside for. You're not just sitting there in, in silence. You're talking with them. You're hearing about their struggles and what they've been going through. And quite often what we're hearing is that they've been trying to get help for so long. As one of the officers was inside waiting, four other RCMP officers pulled up with mental health apprehensions. There is no streamline for someone who's coming in with a mental health crisis. It is eMERGE. Police must wait until a doctor, not a nurse, sees the individual. Uh, we're required to stay with them under the Mental Health Act until a, a doctor authorizes us that we can leave. It's just after 5 o'clock and the police officer has left the hospital. That means he was inside waiting with the patient for four and a half hours. Statistics show Saanich Police spent 1,190 hours waiting, Victoria 1,375 and West Shore 513 hours waiting at the hospital in 2020. We are uh, asking the provincial government to, to step in and, and look at reinstating the special constable status to protective officers, protective service officers, so that they can be responsible for taking on uh, clients who we bring to the hospital. In 1997, the province stripped hospital security guards of their peace officer status after a patient's suicide attempt and lawsuit. All the detachments want the position reinstated. There's no one else. If, if someone is in a mental health crisis uh, and they need to go to the hospital and they're not willing to go to the hospital, the only people uh, they're able to do that, our, our police. Years ago, these security guards used to have the authority to take over, but not now. The goal here is not to remove ourselves from this process. That's not our goal here. Our goal here is to help this process become the best it can for the people going through crisis. In the second part of this series, the government responds. In the meantime, calls and crises continue. Elena Kelly, Glacier Media, Victoria.